Well, tomorrow in Ireland on International Women's Day, people will go to the polls to vote on two big referendums. The first, the family referendum. The government proposes to expand the definition of the word in the Constitution to recognize what it calls, quote, durable relationships. This means couples cohabitating and their children. The second, the care referendum. The Constitution has a specific section dedicated to women and their life within the home. The state proposes removing those two articles and replacing them with a new article relating to care provided by family members. For more, let's bring in Irish conservative campaigner and barrister Maria Steen, who has campaigned on the issues of same-sex marriage and abortion in Ireland. Good to be with you today, Maria. Thank you for your time. Uh, first of all, Let's start with this proposed new definition of family. It seems sort of vague. What does it mean and what or who is behind this? Well, the Irish people are being asked to vote uh, tomorrow, 8th of March, uh, on two different issues. The first, as you say, is in relation to the family. So as things stand at the moment, it's to make a change to the Irish constitution. And as things stand, the Irish constitution recognises that uh, the family is founded on marriage. It gives a special place of honour to marriage uh, in the Constitution. The government is proposing to change that, uh, to change it to a definition that, that the family is based either on marriage or on other durable relationships. Now, the government isn't able to tell us what durable relationships means. And uh, although it has been put to them many times, they say it will be up to the courts to decide. So in effect, the Irish people are being asked to vote on something with no definition that they don't know who the parties to it are or uh, the, the effects that it will have. I want to talk now about the care referendum. Right now, um, Irish women, I understand, can work if they choose. The Constitution says they shouldn't have to work because of economic hardship. What will, you know, if the care referendum is passed, what will happen there? Well, at the moment, the wording of the Constitution in relation to women and mothers is, um, I suppose, under discussion. That's, again, the, the, the government is talking about uh, deleting the word woman, the word mother, and the word home from our Constitution. So ju just to give you an idea of, of what the Constitution currently says, it says, in particular, the state recognises that by her life within the home, woman gives to the state a support without which the common good cannot be achieved. Maria, what are people saying about this, in particular women? What have you heard? Well, I think there's a lot of concern um, among women, and it's funny, it, it's an unusual one. There is a kind of consensus uh, among people from the left and the right and the middle. Uh, there's a, a feeling among women that the idea, the symbolism of erasing the words woman and mother from the Constitution is, in effect, grotesque. Uh, and I am hoping that the people will reject the government's proposal. Could there be unforeseen consequences on inheritance and property if these proposed changes go through? Absolutely. So one of my uh, big concerns uh, is in relation to the uncertainty that it creates in people's lives. The benefit of marriage is that everybody knows what they're getting into. Uh, and because of the, and of course, we're not talking about religious marriage here, we're talking about civil marriage, state marriage. Uh, and the benefit to it is that because it is um, publicly witnessed, everybody knows that both parties have consented to it. If there is no such external evidence, then you could have a situation where a couple who are dating long term and subsequently break up, one party decides, well, I was in a durable relationship and um, goes to the court and gets such a declaration. And if a durable relationship is put at the same level as a, as a marriage, which is what the government is proposing, then they enjoy the same rights. They would enjoy the same rights as married people. So, for instance, somebody could make a claim for inheritance or maintenance um, from a former boyfriend or girlfriend uh, at the same level as a husband or wife could, uh, and, and the other person had never consented to being in a marriage or a marriage-like relationship. Well, we will be keeping our eye on what happens there in Ireland tomorrow. Maria, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. God bless you. Thank you, Tracy.